addition in this community. And that is why so hard to cope. Yeah? Yeah. I'm sorry about the death of your husband and the king. But tradition demands that we crown another king. towards becoming a queen. As you've always been. Exactly. But too bad for you, you chose the wrong location to congratulate me. Anyway, thanks all the same. But you should have waited for me to get home. Yes. That also. Huge congratulations for killing my husband. <laughs> Sandra, you see, rain can always beat the skin of a leopard. But it cannot wash away its spots. I know it has always been your dream to see me bow and worship at your feet. Well, that's not too bad after all, if you bow down and worship me. Oh, yes. Because where there is a queen, there should be subjects. Well, I don't have time for this rubbish. Can you please take this thing you call a car out of my way? For I am running late to somewhere and I need to pass. One moment. Rain does not fall on one moment. Psycho! Psycho! You are going mad gradually. You are losing it! <laughs> Thou ways of the gods are wise ah, But you may not understand A boy you come and more bodo na kuni sin your bodo Cooking or somewhere in our sun man Oh yeah must it can be received on a pure body You know, seeing this kuchong makes me so jealous that I have no option than to call everything here. <laughs> they are so beautiful. Wow. Honey, what is wrong with you? 
Really? Hmm? I'm talking to you. Are you talking to me? Of course. I have been talking to you for the past five minutes, but you kept mute. I'm so sorry, darling. I... Baby, the coronation is near. It's really near. And I've been the one arranging the whole thing. You haven't said anything yet. Sorry about that, dear. It's just that everything is happening so fast. Okay? But I suggest we do away with the pomp and pageantry. I would suggest we have a quiet ceremony. Quiet what? I hope that wasn't directed to me. What do you mean by quiet? For crying out loud, my love, you're going to be crowned the king of Amikulu Kingdom. Dimitris are expected to be there. And you, you're talking about quiet? Sandra, we're mourning. My late father and brother. Does that not mean anything to you? I know. I know we yeah. are. But baby, you do not expect me to cry my eyes out over people that have really left this world. I mean, I'm so sorry if you hurt you, my friends, but that is the fact. I mean, I want this coronation so elaborate that even the dead will be proud of us. <laughs> I'll go ahead and order. <laughs> My king in making. <laughs> oh my goodness, I love this. I can't wait. <laughs> mm. My prince, did I hear you correctly? My, my prince, I barely heard you. What did you say? My elders, I said that I still maintain my stand on the issue of the throne. Eze Akadjafo, your dynasty is about to roll off. My prince, please reconsider your stand. For this is about to bring the worst abomination on this kingdom. Your first action led to the death of your brother. And now this is about bringing plague on this kingdom. Reconsider. Hmm. Precify. You and I know that what you are saying is not possible. You are destined to be the king of this kingdom. And there's nothing you can do about it. I am not destined to be the king of this kingdom. And I will not let you all railroad me into becoming king against my wish. What about your people? Don't you care about your people? I mean, those that stood by your family all these years, you don't care about them? My prince, the dynasty will leave your family. If you refuse to take the mantle of leadership and lead your people, I am telling you the truth. My elders, I will gladly support any son of the soil to become king. As you can see, the clouds are getting darker and I need to take my leave before the rains are upon us. Have a nice day. Who we wear the crown? Who we wear the crown? When you got your number on you, when you got your on you, mysteries and tales, rocking the land, I could call you radio. When you got your on you, when you got your on you, Every little of your banner, every woman more. Oh, me, me, who wear the crown? When you got you no but on you. If I, if I knew why. What, what do you mean? Traditionally. 
you are supposed to be king now that my husband is dead. Or don't you want to partake in your own dish anymore? I don't understand what you mean, Lizzie. No, you wouldn't, my dear brother-in-law. talking about? Madam, I'm not talking about the brother thing. Will you shut up? Do you know where you stand? Madam, I know where I stand. Do you know and the elders have chosen a man to become the king of this kingdom? This is not happening. Gen -gen. Wait, are you sure about this information? See, my queen, you know I'm the first great ambassador. A new queen has been chosen. The king. My daughter, it is not in our hands. This is not right. Ono and the elders disappointed our family. That is not the right thing to do. At least, there should be proper consultation. But you have already rejected the crown. And the elders have given up already. Haven't they tried? My hands are tired. Mother, we can still do something. Talk to Ono. By eventually, he can reverse this decision. It's rather too late now. Princess, you have to accept things the way they are. What you cannot change, you accept. Rocking a line, I could call you Reju. When you got Koran, when you got Kobaran, yeah, every little of your banner, every woman more. Oh, who wear the crown? When you got Chino, but I need you. This drink is very nice. <laughs> Mazimika, I trust you. Hey, and we want to thank you, with the elders, for giving us this cola. We really enjoyed ourselves. Oh yes, oh no one, oh no one. Yes. But I know you must be wondering why we're here. 
Uh-huh. I saw it in your eyes. What you are the and the we are here actually to discuss an important uh, matter with you. Yeah? Yeah. Um, we the order, we have unanimously decided to make you our king. Oh yes. Really? Really? Yeah, Guam. Guam. Yeah. Kingdom is a great kingdom. Uh-huh. And we need somebody with uh, good pedigree to lead us. Yeah. And I will search, we looked around. And uh, with the help of the gods, we decided to choose you. Yeah. So we need to thank the gods for giving us the wisdom to choose somebody like you. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Oh, no. oh, my elders. I'm greatly honored for this your visit. Most especially for the good news of choosing me to be your king. You see, my father once told me that my ancestors, we are well known warriors, once ruled our kingdom. And uh, I promise I will our kingdom in truth and fairness. Yeah. 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 I want to even give me light. I did everything possible. Then you put it on my pump. Oh, did the doctor came and confirmed that he was dead? Chai. Hello. Chie will leave me. Did you know who I am? Chie will leave me. Did you know who I Elders in council are more confused than ever. Why are they confused? Because anyone who agrees to ascend the throne dies. Yes. And we are so confused that we don't know what to do anymore. Now, my prince, there is a question I've been meaning to ask you. And I want you to tell me the truth. Why did you reject the crown? My business. It's becoming incorporated and requires my attention. I don't need anything to slow down that business and taking the crown will warrant that I'm always here in the village, which would affect the business. My prince, I'm sure you are aware that I was a very close confidant to your father when he was alive. And I am aware also that your father prepared you early for this throne. So, you and I know that what you are saying is not correct. Tell me. What is the real reason that you rejected the crown? Okay, I I will tell you the truth.
What is the meaning of this? Whatever you do, do not bow to the pressure of the crown. Heed my warning. Heed my warning. So that was it. Hmm. I always had this recurring dream before any danger. And it always had to do with the crown. But well, why didn't you say something while you were experiencing this thing? <laughs> I mean the recurring dream. How, how, how would the elders believe me? They'll probably see me as being self-centered or arrogant and proud. That's why I asked my brother to take up the crown, as he wished. Hmm. But, do you think the death of your brother is related to this recurring dream you've been having? I honestly do not know. But I decided to heed the advice of this nameless woman. Who knows, maybe that's why I'm still alive. Perhaps she was trying to warn you, or rather advise you, to cleanse the palace. Could it be the message she's trying to pass across? I want to thank you for accepting the crown. Thank you. And for saving our kingdom from imminent calamity. Oh, yes. Yes. Um, now, let's go to the throne room. Okay. Others are waiting. What do you mean by that? You heard me. My son, I thought you had accepted to ascend the throne. Yes! And I have rejected the throne here. Oh, no, listen to me, baby. Do not do this to me. Don't. Please, hey. let's go. Do what to you? Are you the one wearing the crown? But let's go! I said I am not going again. But why? Because I have rejected the crown here and now. Oh, my goodness. Mom, I will not do it for you. understand that I have been praying for you to take over your father's place and 
all you had to do was to turn down the same crown your brother died for. Oh my goodness. I have always known. I have always known that I am married to a weakling. Enough. Enough already. What has gotten into you? Why are you even taking this personal? Why? I am taking it personal because I am your wife and the future queen of this great land. If that crown is so important to you, then go there and have them crown you instead. Oh, I would love that. I would love that to happen. Then where are you going? How's that your business? This is the best decision for me. I need to move on. It's time. I have to move on with my life. Oh. I am really going to miss you seriously. I know. And I will even miss you more. Hmm? Listen, you just have to take care of yourself. Take care of your own mother. And again. Listen, I will keep checking up on you from time to time. Okay? To lose it. He's waiting there, I tell, tell you, but listen, if when I grow up, reach my age, make when I try and marry up in time so that when I go bump begin. Now you have a son, even though you don't you have money to get married. Give someone a wanted pregnancy. Once you have a son, son is son, no matter whatever. So that your lineage will not close like oh get him soon. Like you, <laughs> I could plan my future from now. Give anybody better, scatter them. I don't say when the sons grow up, they go look for the father. If not the maidens, yes, find one maiden, give her belly. You go born for me, and so far, so the border for this compound. Naroyati! <laughs> Are not clean. I know this young man and their commitments. A crown older than his father. I wonder that myself. My elders, we need to rally around our prince so that we can find a solution to this problem. He explained his reasons to me. Yes. <laughs> oh no. That didn't make sense to me. You should have cropped up a better lie than trying to sell that chip one to us. Never. 
he wasn't lying. What he said was the truth. Believe me. about anything like that. He never confided in us. Uh, apologies, my queen. Um, the Council of Elders are asking questions. And these questions are directed at me. Oh no. Your Majesty. Do you still remember how my husband died? Can you still recall what I told you were his last words? Yes. I think I remember. He said something about the crap being cast. My husband. Before he took his last breath, he was pointing at the crown. I am confused, but I know we have to do something about it. Hey, Your Majesty, what are we going to do? Because I am confused myself. No, I don't know. I just don't know. This man in Ameku, he's full of wisdom and he has witnessed so many past events. Really? Yes. Let's meet him. Anybody home? Wise one! Greetings, wise one. Greetings, wise one. Oh no. Hey, why have you come here this in Bachi? We come in peace, wise one. I am restless. These days, I wonder why death has refused to visit me. Um, wise one, death understands the importance of your ways of wisdom, and that is why it keeps jumping over your heart. Death must be so beautiful to have this long pity on me. My prince, wise one, the war has deliberately begun. You may think you have cheated death, but it is not over. Wise one, you speak in parables. You need to find Ihe Akano, the bleeding priestess. She has this solution. 
to the problem. Wise one, please, where do we find her? My prince, oh no, who here knows where to find her. And you need to find her before 10 days else. No single member of the royal family will be left alive. Go in peace. Where's one? Where's one? Where's one? What's wrong with him? Where's one? He's dead. What? Nike. It is. It is the end of the world for me. Joanne needed to be there. He needed to have seen the way my husband turned down the crown right in front of everybody. Disgraced the entire family. I don't know what is wrong with that man. Sandra, this man might have his reason. He's not a baby. I mean, this doesn't mean he's not going to be crowned the king. You never can tell. The first time we had this issue was when he gave his younger brother the throne. I mean, God bless his soul, he's gone. Just when I thought everything is normal and for me to relax and enjoy everything, Fian, he put up another style, which I don't even understand. I don't understand what is going on, honestly. I just feel like disappearing. That man wants to make me go mad. Now everybody will be laughing at me. Come on, nobody's laughing at you. At least I am not laughing at you. I'll never do that. Huh? Calm down. I mean, he might be passing through a lot of so much pressure on him. He lost his father. He just lost his brother. Oh, Every ah, spare me all that. Spare me all those powder dash. Spare me. Ah. Did you have anything reasonable in that um, refrigerator of yours? Did you keep anything in my fridge? Please, can you be useful to me? <laughs> hey, God. Okay, I have for juice. That will go a long way. Turn her face. Very chilled, please. Very chilled. Okay, hold on, let me get you something really, really chilled. going to see this um, priestess? If I don't, then we are all doomed forever. I was really scared. It was as though the man was waiting to set his eyes on me before he gave up the ghost. How do you mean? He died? At first he was making sense with his words. And then he started speaking in parables. I, I couldn't understand. And he died. <sighs> How is mom? She's fine. She's resting inside. Okay. Please, could you just tell any of the maids to prepare some food for me? I'm, I'm famished. Okay, come on. Favor. Come.
We're in the middle of nowhere. There's no building in sight. Are you sure we're at the right place? Of course we are. Uh, like you said, we're in the middle of nowhere, so we have to walk the rest of the way. How about the car? Are you sure it's safe here? Good love do not come and destroy it. My prince, this is a sacred place. There is no way safer for the car than here. Don't worry. Are you sure? Of course, hundred percent. You know, we still have a very long way to go. We better hurry. Let's go, my prince. Okay, after you. abode of the priestess. Stories have it that she lives alone with dead souls. <laughs> Funny enough, I don't believe those superstitions. <sighs> My prince, they are real. They are real. I've heard legends about Ihe. No one could tell her age. Stories have it that she's up to a thousand years. Those are stories your mother told you by moonlight. I cannot wait to get out of here. I hope we get done with this fast so I can go back home. Hopefully, yes, my prince. Please, let's proceed. I'm all ears. <laughs> Afam, I don't have all day. If you are yet to figure it out, go and come back later. My princess, since the day I started working in this palace, and since the day I saw you, I've not been sleeping fine. No, I'll be sleeping in my dreams. I'll be hearing voices saying, "Say it, tell her, do the right thing," and I'll just wake up. Then uh, I've just been trying to find what is telling me that uh, you, you know you are a beautiful woman, an epitome of beauty. I don't know whether you are being given birth or you fall from, from the sky. So after much con consultation, uh, and I deliberated with my my council of elders, my, my kindred uh, women, <laughs> kindred men, those that talk about those that will progress, then I decided to do the right thing. My princess, Please, marry me. I, I, I will take you to places you never dreamed to go in this world. Name them. Zimbabwe, Malawi, Shanghai. I will take you there. Any kind of car you want to drive in this world, you will drive them. Me I go to I will go to I'm ready to build this kind of palace to, for you. Different places. I'm completed build the marrow here. Here, man, I will foundation. Afam, yeah? are you mad? No. Have you 
have gone cocoa? No, yes, I've gone cocoa. I, I, I use coconut to drink gare with cold water. Oh yeah, me, I gare. I have certain things to do. You bring one milk. Wait till I need me. Oh, hurry, hurry. Afam, will you get out from here? Hmm? Get out of here! Get out from here, you moron! Get out, you fool! Who gave you that mind? You speak in parables, priestess. We are in total confusion and despair. Yes. You seek the truth? Alright. Your great grandfather, King Gobiefuna, was a good man. As a young man, he took a bride. A beautiful bride. Soon! Huh? Huh? 
I will not help this. I gave birth to a common thief. Your Highness! Steal it from me. Bring him back. No! I said bring no, him back. No, you want to kill him for me? Please. Give me that cat. Give me, give me. Off with my friends. I gave you that name because you are the first strength of my leon. Rather than put that name to good use, you are here whiling away your life with ladies. Father, please. I'm only occupying myself and trying to kill the burden by bringing in pigs and fools into my compound. You are a complete disgrace to our Regret your life. No, 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 no. I have made up my mind and there is no going back. Your son is a complete disgrace. Oh, now he's my son? I gave back to what you gave to me. All you could do is call him and advise him. After all, he's only a boy. You call him KMF a boy? Or a man? Oh, I have seen where the problem is coming from. You keep pampering and spoiling him. No, he is a total disaster. The gods forbid. My son is not a disaster. Look at him. Just look at him. Does he look like someone who will be a prince? My king. Young man, I have disowned you. Oh, disowned him? It will amount to a disgrace for me. Yes. The people will mock me. You brought that onto yourself. Oh, oh yes, please. Right away, I am going to summon the elders of Amerika to choose another successor to the heir. Read my My list. king! You can never succeed me. My king! You have to do that! Oh my god! Ah. 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 Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! You want to give my throne to someone else? Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! You kill the king! You have to kill him before you get to my son. Now take back your soul. Take it down now. It's an order. Do it now. She said take it down. Now. King Obiefuna cost the crown. And you are the second generation. If your brother had mounted the throne, he would have died. Now I see why you visit my dreams. In actual sense, that was not me. Um, we've heard stories of your visit to dreams. And after such visits, problems are solved in some cases. Yes. Prince Ifani was only saying the cause. That crown drips in blood. Hence, the gods we are passing a message to you. Hence. You are seeing the bleeding parts. But why? 
Why am I favored this much? Your grandmother. She continued to stand in the gap where Obiefuna laments the gods for vengeance. Now you must break the curse. Christus, that is why we are here. Yes. What must be done and how much time do we have? Nine days. You must find the voice. The voice? Your grandfather Obiefuna has a secret pot. In that secret pot lies your redemption. What secret? Are you serious about what you are doing? Your Majesty, I cannot be lying with what is serious as this. If Your Majesty finds out, my life is ruined. She won't do you anything. You go back to your father's house. I think you are safe there. Hey. My father is my father is going to kill me. Hey. You know it's a taboo for a young maiden to give birth in her father's house. You will not kill me. I will send you a message with my seal on it. Okay? You will stay there in a while. Then I will come and pay your bride price and take you home as my wife. Thank you, Your Majesty. Now do as I instructed you. Thank you, Your Majesty. He had a child out of wedlock? Yes. King Obiefuna did not live to fulfill his promises to Uloma, who later died after giving birth to his son. I guess, I guess the stigma was much. That is the key to your liberation. But, but why? I mean, all these do not fit. You are correct. King Obiefuna does not want anybody from the lineage of Amaka to wear the crown. And anybody who does so will die immediately. Ha. You know, your curses are so strong. You must find the secret and break it. Who? Oh. Why me? Why? Why? You are the you bridge and the chosen one to break the long age curse. If you are to do so, you have the whole member of your family dead. Eh? Please, move. Please, sit down. What is it? <coughs> you look agitated and scared. What's wrong? My prince, the worst has happened. Hey. What happened? Masu Denka is nowhere to be found. This is his son, John. This is my place. What do you mean he's, he's nowhere to be found? Is he trying to run away or what? Hey, my prince, he suddenly disappeared from the face of the earth. My family is in sorrow. Have you informed the police? No, my prince, we haven't. Hey! My prince, what are we going to do? Ah, uh, today is the sixth day. Hey! 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 I just have to decide to fit. Because we have done our best as humans. 